Welcome back to the Crypto Market Updates channel. Today is the 10th of January and in today's video I'm going to be talking about well what the heck let's talk ETFs and in particular the Bitcoin ETFs. Now some of you might be asking yourselves what is an ETF? An ETF is an exchange traded funds and in order to give you a better understanding of what it is if you're not really clear let's hop over to Investopedia because they do a pretty darn good job of explaining things. So what is an exchange traded fund? An exchange traded fund is, an, uh, is a type of pooled investment security that operates much like a mutual fund. Typically, ETFs will track a particular index sector, commodity or other assets. But unlike mutual funds, ETFs can be purchased or sold on a stock exchange. Same way that a regular stock can. An ETF can be structured so anything to track anything from the price of an individual commodity to a large or and diverse collection of securities. ETFs can even be structured to track specific investment strategies. Basically, an ETF allows people to invest into Bitcoin without actually buying any Bitcoin. Imagine a company like uh, Microsoft, although they're not issuing an ETF, imagine a, uh, an investment company like uh, BlackRock they have uh, a basket full of stuff and there is Bitcoin and maybe there is Ethereum because I think they're running uh, they're, they're pulling for it um, Ethereum ETF as well and so people can throw their cash at that basket and if the price of that basket goes up then those people make money so the people the investors the individual investors don't actually purchase Bitcoin or Ethereum outright Bitcoin and um, Ethereum is owned by the investment company, which then issues, I guess, uh, profits to the investors, the individual investors who are have decided to um, to place their money into that particular fund. That's essentially it. So what's been up with Bitcoin? Well, Bitcoin's been on the run again. Don't mind my uh, my thingy majiggy here. I'm in profit, two hundred forty nine thousand dollars in profit. How sweet is that? This is my trading paper trading. Um, I've opened up a trade a while ago and it's been just pumping. Um, so I can't close it because I would close it. But in any case, um, let's have a look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin's been in the green since September of two thousand twenty three. So it's September, October, November. December and now January despite the ups and downs Bitcoin is right now sitting at $47,000 and it's just uh, caressing the final steps towards the summit of the all-time highs of 2021 um, and essentially Bitcoin has been pumping ever since January of 2023 look at that January of 2023 massive green candle February meager there were literally one, two, three green months since last year. We've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten months of green candles over the past year and a pump of 181% overall gains on Bitcoin. So despite all the turmoil, despite the, uh, the FUD and all that stuff around cryptocurrencies, you can see clear as day that Bitcoin has been on a uh, on an upward trajectory for the for the past entire past year. Um, even the crypto winter, you know, when you look at it um, on this scale, doesn't look so bad because Bitcoin was here at 3000 and then we saw it pump all the way down and so there is talk about retracement so what's going to happen uh Bitcoin ETFs is 5% so SCC uh rejection probability has been uh downgraded to 5% so there is optimism in the market a lot of people are talking about that um, and so the approval rate is looking to be at 95%. So all is good. And the SEC urges ETF issuers to submit their final fillings. So is it going to be approved? It looks like it's going to be approved. January 11th is the launch decision on the ETF applications like ARK Invest due soon. It's the 10th today and the approval should be coming in today. And I don't know if it has or has not. I guess we're still waiting. <clears throat> But what are the chances of, of uh, the ETFs being approved? Well, I think they're pretty high, despite the fact that, you know, they're talking about here 95%. Uh, aside from that, rather, not despite, um, I think it's beginning to look like the ETFs are going to approve, be approved. And what will happen if they don't? Well, 
the market right now is going berserk bitcoin is at um 27 it topped out at 27,000, almost 28,000 here i think yeah well 28,000, and it retraced since then but basically if the etfs are approved then we will see um a spike and i guess it's the fomo possibly fomo driving the price right now and if bitcoin does not get approved then we would most likely see a massive dump and the predictions are that it will go down to thirty thousand. although i don't understand these um these these uh, assessments i guess it's based on like uh i guess it's based on micro analysis at smaller time frames but i would expect it to pull down to sixteen thousand. if anything else to kind of fill this gap right here or why not ten thousand ten thousand bitcoin uh we've got nice support levels right here support levels and uh support and resistance rather so why wouldn't we see bitcoin uh see dump all the way down to here ten thousand dollar bitcoin eh look at that that would be something to behold um or even here to to recheck retest this support right here um We've got a support right here as well. Right here at 26,000. But um, what we're being told is that Bitcoin's going to go right here. I guess that's that's where the resistance would be. We've got uh, one, two, and three. So this, I guess, would be where what they're looking at possibly going back down if the ETFs are rejected. But that is a massive drop here that would be a retracement of like 32 percent. so i guess not that much but so the some of the signs that you can see that the etfs are going to be approved here sec urges etf issuers to submit their final fillings so they're you know they're asking for documents before the door closes basically do it before january 11th i guess or january 11th is tomorrow today was supposed to be the launch day uh, so there's they were telling people to get your stuff in uh this was january 6th before the door closes what are some other signs jim kramer the famous jim kramer now says bitcoin is topping and of course we all know that uh anything he says uh the market does the exact opposite so when he says that's it for bitcoin and of course we should expect bitcoin to continue vanek is optimistic it says spot bitcoin etf should trade on thursday today is wednesday thursday is the 11th which is what the other article right here is saying as well Valkyr expects spot Bitcoin ETFs to go effective Wednesday, which is today, with trading beginning Thursday. So uh, it's quite possible that these things are going to be coming on live um, online today, and then tomorrow, final uh, trading will be uh, will be live. And literally, as I'm sitting right now, a message came in: historic US spot Bitcoin ETF approval granted by SEC and landmark decision. So it looks like. The ETFs have been approved. Spot Bitcoin ETFs secure landmark approval in the United States. The Securities and Exchange Commission has finally approved the United States' first regulated spot Bitcoin exchange traded funds. Approval for Bitcoin ETFs for listing on all registered national security exchanges. The, uh, the approved Bitcoin ETFs will be subject to ongoing surveillance and compliance measured. SEC approves Bitcoin ETFs. Today, the SEC grants approval for Bitcoin ETFs for listing on all registered national security exchanges. The approved Bitcoin ETFs will be subject to ongoing surveillance. So, ETFs are approved. Uh, looks like a lot of fakery. My goodness. So, literally within the span of like half an hour, uh, I received messages. Um, a bunch of YouTubers were releasing videos saying that the ETF has been approved. There are articles that I was just reading uh, saying that it was been approved. And then there is a tweet by um, by Edward Snowden <laughs> going, going on with this here. The SEC government Twitter account has been compromised and an authorized tweet was posted. The SEC has not approved the listing and trading of Bit Spot Bitcoin Exchange traded funds. Um, there is an announcement of by the SEC uh the us the sec gov x account has been compromised and an un unauthorized post was posted the sec has not approved the listing and trading of spot bitcoin exchange traded products so we're still waiting somebody posted had a hacker <laughs> look at that evil smile that is funny um so what's the scoop right now well things remain as they were uh my initial predictions or my initial 
uh, conversation stands. We're still where we are with everything. So, yeah. Conclusion. Do not jump to anything. Let's have a, a conclusion. Let's have a look at uh, Bitcoin. Yeah, it's still now it's kind of teetering. Bitcoin's kind of teetering here at 45,000. Anyway, make sure to smash up the like, subscribe to the channel, join the memberships on the channel because uh, that's much appreciated. And I will see you in the next video tomorrow. Crypto Father out.